and also all the faculty of the speed app who have made such detailed question banks that even if you go through them and you read the explanations you are going to learn 10 new things every day you just have to be open to learning i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members and team of speed to dr sagun kapoor for scoring aml rank number 1 in speciality super speciality of mch gynec oncology in any ss session may 2025 congratulations and best wishes to you doctor thank you so much sir thank you so once again i thank you for the time that you allocated for us and to share with us your experiences about your journey of rank number one. So, can we know a brief background from where you started till date, what all you have done? Yes, sir. So, I started my MBBS in 2014 from Lady Harding Medical College, completed it in 2019. Then I got admission in 2021 in Ames Delhi in Obstetrics and Gynecology. I completed my MD in 2024 Jan. I gave my senior residency exam consequently like at the same time and then I continued my senior residency in AIMS, it in AIMS itself. I was preparing for INA SSR but midway in NEET SS I secured a rank of 11. So, so I resigned on 1st May because I only had 20 days for my INA SS exam and that was my primary objective. So that's all sir. So, great doctor. I mean, your accomplishment and achievements are incredible and great. Now, can we know why MCH Gynec Oncology? Why, wh where you got that interest and who inspired you? Can you tell us why you decided on that? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, in my junior residency itself, my guide was from Gynec Oncology. So, ma'am inspired me. She was my main inspiration uh, for the subject. I love anatomy as a subject and whenever I used to get scrubbed in the surgeries, it was like 8 hours or 10 hours, but it was so extensive and extensive that I really enjoyed the process. Secondly, in OPD also, I realized that it was really satisfactory, like looking at the patients and the post-op course and the pre-op management. So this was my uh, inspiration. I also tried to um, do a little bit research in this gynec oncology aspect. So that was also one of my major milestones, which pushed me towards this field. Okay. So when did you decide of uh, MCH Gynec Oncology? Is during your PG residency or? In PG itself, in fifth semester. Okay. To be very so once you decided to do so, then how you started progressing towards it to achieve it and that to achieve rank number one, what was your preparation strategy? Can you decode something on that and tell us? Yes, sir. So in my post graduation, I was I did not plan on clearing or giving an exam. It did not happen in 2024, and I was clear since it's a super speciality branch. Branch I should do at least one year of senior residency before going into this branch, so that I rule out all other options. In my senior residency, I was studying simultaneously for my super speciality. I had my notes and I had read from all the standard books in my post graduation. So my main strategy to do was to do as many questions as I can. That was the thing I kept on repeating that for at least six months. That was the main strategy, sir. So how long your preparation was? I mean, I mean, I mean so I, in, in, a, in a day, how long you could plan? I mean, totally, I mean, towards the exam, how you could plan? How much of time could you could allocate for that? I started my preparation in November, in November 2024, because I was targeting this May exam. And so initially it was very difficult. I could only take out four hours, five hours, or maybe there were days when I was not able to study. But in the last 20 days where I resigned, I was studying for 10 hours or 12 hours a day because that was my main, that was the only time I got to study. Yes, sir. That's the final goal. So you made maximum time out of it. Yes, sir. Because I knew that because of my senior residency, it was really hectic. And it was very difficult to take out time to study simultaneously. And I had read two times or three times till then. But then the final 20 days, the revision in those 20 days was the primary rank deciding factor, I guess. Great. So how many questions did you answer in this exam? I left two questions. I answered uh, the rest of the questions I've answered. Yes, sir. Can you tell us something about the paper? Distribution yes, of questions of... Uh... Gynec oncology, reproductive medicine, general op scanning. What were yes. the proportion of percentage of questions? 80. Yes, sir. I've realized that if you want to prepare for NISS, 
and you want a speciality field you have to be thorough with that field because 60 questions or i think 60 or more than that were from oncology they will only ask those questions 10 20 questions are from obstetrics and reproductive medicine but then they are very basic questions like if you have done your pg sincerely you will be able to answer those questions i did not read i i, I think i did not read obstetrics and gynecology in the last 20 days i just read few important topics Topics like ectopic pregnancy or uterine anomalies and all these I knew like the questions which are being repeatedly asked other than that I did not re uh, read obstetrics and gynecology I read oncology multiple times I kept on reading oncology till the last day because that was the main deciding factor okay so one stage one of your program was selected Yes. I mean, how did you prepare for, I mean, what was the preparation strategy for stage two? Can you share the experience of the interview, what they asked you, how do you handle it? Yes, sir. So in your interview in Gynec Oncology in Ames, you are asked to present five or six slides. They will ask your yeah. experience. They will ask your publications and awards. So luckily I was preparing for this day since my post-graduation. So I had publications, I had awards. Because I was, I knew they will ask this in interview and those 20 marks are also very crucial for the rank. Uh, so, sir, so that is very important. They will ask you which surgeries have you seen, what were the complications you've seen, how did you manage them or what did you learn from them? These were the questions I was asked. They don't focus more on the theory aspect because they know you've already cleared the stage one. They will focus on your publication, the awards, the research work you've done. Okay. So once you gave the stage two exam, I mean, yeah. what was your kind of a feel that for this exam, so I mean, I was what you could expect, what, what do you felt? I was very anxious. I was fortunate enough to get a seat in Kidwai Medical College through my NEET SS. Also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I knew I had, like, I like, I will go to Bangalore, but then I, and I, and since I did, this was my alma mater and I have done my MD from this college, I wanted to come back to Ames. So I was just anxious because there were 51 qualified candidate, candidates and 14 candidates for one seat in interview also. So the I knew the competition is going to be very close. I think I, there's only a difference of two marks between first, second and third rank. So it was a close competition. So once the results were out yesterday, I mean yesterday evening, so then how it was, I mean, you were, I mean you, were you expecting before that a rank number one or rank number one was a surprise to you? So actually I had... Uh, to be very frank, I had noted it down somewhere in my copy. Six months back when I started preparing rank one NCH kind of oncology, <laughs> I, I, was, uh, I was told that if you manifest something so hard, things start working in that way. And I actually scrolled through it. I was so happy. I was thrilled with joy. I cried for 20 minutes because it was so difficult, this journey. And, uh, but I was not expecting it. So I was not expecting, I was not very confident that I will get it. But I was fortunate enough to secure that. Right? Six months back, where did you write it? Sir, in my good notes, I have a picture of it. I wrote it there and I was writing some notes and somewhere in the middle, I just thought I'll just write it down. Maybe it will be a very nice <laughs> <laughs> very go back after six months and then I see, yeah, I actually... Is, is it there with you? Is it there with you? Yes, sir. Okay, and I, can we see it? <laughs> I was reading, these were my notes. And yeah, it is there, it is there. We could see that. MCH Gynec Oncology, rank number one. This is really, I don't know, I, it sounded kiddish at that point. But then I did it because maybe I thought it's a dream which is achieved. So, I mean, there is a date is also there actually. I mean, on, on top of it. So, there that is. date, no, 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 sir. That date is not visible in the notes here. It is somewhere in November. November, okay. Yes, so, sir. It's, it's just six months, I mean, six months almost. Yes, sir, six months back. So, I mean, what you write, it comes true. <laughs> it comes true. That, that was the first time I realized, like, if you are manifesting something, it will actually be true. It's quite, I mean, it's quite interesting because this exam is all about this, actually. I mean, I'm talking to student students. I mean, they are doing it, actually. I mean, they want to be on rank one, rank two, and they want in specific for aims they want. I mean, even they're choosing between AIMS and PGI, PGI and Jupmer. I mean, <laughs> kind of... So there, there's, there's only going to be one seat. So I told my parents also, it's either it's rank one or it's nothing. Like, there's only one seat. So there's nothing else for me. So I was very clear about that aspect of this branch. It's <laughs> <laughs> mind-blowing. 
and yes. I'm really great. I mean, quite, I mean, you are inspiring me. I mean, you have inspired me because <laughs> you are usually inspired by all of the faculties, and it's it's very lucky if it's vice versa in this case. But I'm usually inspired by all of you how you guys take out time to you know teach us the concepts to make the question banks. It is very thrilling to see that. But what what I I am just looking at it as see what I'm looking at you right now. I mean the way I look at you is, see the the kind of see it is narrow. It is only one is available, and mm -hmm. uh, I am working towards it. The competition is not in my hands. It's something else. The lot of parameters could decide that. Even in spite of it, and when I put everything on it, and mm -hmm. I'm getting it back. So. Yes, I lost all my notes after my post graduation. I had made notes. I had a lot of no detailed notes, copies. I did not have it in my senior residency. I was really uh, demotivated that how will I start my journey again? How will I do it? But I think in the initial six months, that that's why I was not preparing also. I was not targeting the exam. So I, when I started it in November, I was like, whatever it is, whatever the limitations are, I will have to give my best. And I did not make notes for my, N uh, for my INSS NCH. I was just using the apps and using the, the standard textbooks. Very interesting. <laughs> so your message to the aspirants, what is that the message that you want to give to the aspirants of MCH Ganebunk? I want to say, sir, that believe in yourself first. I think the day I wrote it down, the day I wrote my goal down, it was a little scary. If you're not scared of your goal, then you're not pursuing it the right way. I was scared that I've written this thing, but how should I reach to that goal? And once you write it down, your brain can process it, that you have to reach there. And then work every day, show up every day. Everyone has difficulties. I'm sure my competitors also worked really hard. They had their own limitations. I had my own limitations. And in the end, if you get it, that's good. If you don't get that thing, you can always try again. I have a question for you. Yes, sir. Is the writing that rank number one is more difficult or achieving it most more difficult in, in reality? What was the difficult, which was more? I mean, someone has to write rank number one is not that easy. People don't write. Yes, sir. I in think one... writing was more difficult because that is, you have to believe in yourself first that you can do that thing you can achieve that goal when once you have written it the 80 percent work is done 20 percent work is that you study every day you study all the subjects everything thoroughly every day that is something you'll do because feel you have reached till you have completed your speciality you have reached this far in your life i'm sure everyone can do this Matlab, this is not something difficult but you have to write it first great yes <laughs> Very, very good. Very, very good. So it's time to thank now, I mean, uh, whom all you want to thank. You can use this platform today that <laughs> from day one till day to all people who have stood by you to achieve what you are today, you can use this platform to thank all of them. I would like to begin my, like, I want to thank my parents first because I've always been a hostler and I know how difficult it is for them to see their children go through this process where they are studying day and night and just working day and night and they provided me with immense support, my brother and my friends and colleagues uh, because medical field in itself is very hectic. If you don't have a good support system around you, you might not know what you want and you need to have that happy hormones rotten there in your mind that okay, everything will be fine. It is okay. Everyone is going through that process. Then also my guide here in Ames Daily itself, ma'am has inspired me a lot. I've seen her working 24 hours a day, every time, either academically or in the hospital. It is really inspiring for us young kids to see someone do these things. And also all the faculty of the Speed app who have made such detailed question banks that even if you go through them and you read the explanations, you are going to learn 10 new things every day. You just have to be open to learning first. So, yes, sir. Doctor, once again, we wish you all the very best and a great career ahead as an <laughs> MCH and a oncologist. And uh, it's it's mind-blowing. And I'll tell you, it's one of the best interviews I have ever conducted. I have <laughs> conducted thousands and thousands of interviews in my life in sir. past 25 years. One of the best and the finest interview that I wish that everybody should 
see to this interview and listen to you and definitely they will get inspired and be motivated and learn that kind of a discipline from you to achieve what you have achieved like what you have achieved and they want to achieve so we all inspire each other and i would be really happy if i'm able to do that for someone and i i hope that i am also i also feel inspired from the rest of the people and my fellow colleagues in the future in the coming years all the best god bless you thank best you so much thank you so much thank you bye